Hi there folks, Matt Hasten with this week's Pulse of the Market. Well, there's plenty happening in the financial markets that I thought would be worth taking a closer look at this week, starting with the Federal Reserve in the US who are considering lifting interest rates next week. Now, it seems as though the Federal Reserve is split into two camps, one suggesting that the era of free money needs to come to an end, whilst the other feels that it's still a little early to remove stimulus from the US economy. As a result of this uncertainty, it did send share markets around the world into a bit of volatile week with the ASX slumping to a two month low on Monday before a late rally in the week. Also the Australian dollar which has been moving forward towards a six month high will certainly be impacted if the Federal Reserve lifts rates next week and we could see the Australian dollar drop to around 75 or 74 cents. Now also looking at the minutes from last week's RBA board meeting, it seems as though the RBA feels that the domestic housing boom is well and truly over. There are certainly cracks appearing in the market, starting with an oversupply of apartments, and that is very well evident in the markets of Brisbane and Melbourne. Also, there is weaker housing loan approvals and also weaker housing credit growth. Now, also last week, we saw the auction clearance rate in Sydney sitting at 77%, which is still excellent, but that's the lowest level we have seen for the last six weeks. In our core region, though, we are seeing very strong performances with the auction clearance rate sitting in the high 80% bracket. Now, one of the difficult things for buyers in the present market is we are seeing many agents and agencies set initial selling guides at least 20% below sellers' expectations. Now, whilst buying demand remains very good, trying to understand value for a buyer is extremely difficult when there's such disparity with price guides. So that's something we'll continue to monitor. Now, there's plenty happening, obviously, in the financial market and also the property market will continue to keep you posted. And I very much thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.